that's important. I think it's really important to hold sight of. Not because it's a problem having things. I talk about this all the time. In fact, there's a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that he says that if he gives his servant um, uh, means, means, he likes to see it on them. Like that we shouldn't be shabby and so on. But it's also the holding on to the means that is often very problematic. That when we get attached to these possessions, that when we feel that they are truly ours and there's nobody else's, we lose sight of the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly is the one who is fully in charge. And this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh my servants, if the first of you and the last of you, humans and the jinn, were God-fearing, and the most God-fearing person there is, you couldn't increase in my dominion in the least. And then he repeats all the same things and he says, and if you were sinful, even the most sinful person could not decrease my dominion in the least. And all my servants, if the first of you and the last of you and the human and the jinn were to stand and to ask me, and I were to give each person who asked, it would not diminish from what I have. Any more than the ocean would be diminished if a needle was dipped into it. He doesn't need our prayers. He doesn't need our tawbah or forgiveness. He doesn't need our stuff, our things. We need Allah Azza wa Jal. We need his forgiveness. We need his mercy. And we need to ask him for all the things material and immaterial that we need. I think when you frame it in that way, suddenly you realize what it means to be Malik al-Mulk.